Hey, welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner for more Photoshop Elements video tutorials. Today we are using Photoshop Elements 11, as I hope you may be uh, using it. If not, maybe you should upgrade. But this should work on all versions of Photoshop Elements from version 6 on up. I like to call this video tutorial, as I'm sure the title has said here already, I call this Photoshop Elements 11 Pains as in P-A-N-E-S, panes. Because we're gonna make panes, such as what you're seeing on your screen right now, and they can go either vertical, we can do horizontal, and I'm also going to teach you how to do multiple size panes uh, to give a picture a very pleasing uh, look and something very, very different. So what we're gonna do here, first of all, is I'm going to revert all these pictures back to their normal uh, look. And we're going to get started here. And we'll revert that one back. Okay, now you have the option always. Uh, you can do a Control or a Command J. We can duplicate the background image there if we want to do that. But we're not. We're just going to use a straight image this time. And we're going to go for Broke. The first thing we're going to do to create our vertical panes on this first picture is I'm going to click on Select and I'm going to select all. Or if you really want to go off the deep end, you can use your command or control A and that will select everything. Now we're going to be using up here our rectangle, rectangular marquee tool. And we're going to be using down here in the bottom, this is Photoshop Elements 11, so the toolbar is on the bottom. And what you're going to use is to subtract. So we're going to be subtracting something from this actual selection because remember now we selected everything so to do this we have that selected we have the marquee tool now we can just go in here and we're going to start drawing panes inside of this fully selected image now you can make the borders any size you want but i would tell you i would recommend when you're doing these to try to keep them as even as possible so let's just go here and we're going to make it make a border here just like so and we'll go right about there. And then we'll go right beside it here. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to lay out another one. And we're going to go right about there. And leave your mouse go. And then we will do one more. Again, right here. And we're just going to go across and down. So there is our panes. Now they could be slightly uneven there. Uh, you may want to even them up as much as possible. But that, that looks pretty good. Now all we have to do to get that effect that we're looking for is we're going to go up here to Image. I'm sorry, Edit. We're going to go to Edit. And we're going to Fill Selection. Now before you even do that, before we fill selection, what I want you to do first is make sure over here the foreground and background color are in the default. The default is normally white over black. Well, you could switch it to black over white, but we're going to do white over black. We'll switch that back because white is our foreground and black is our background. So let's go back to edit and we're going to go to fill selection. Now with fill selection selected, we're going to use our foreground color. But by all means, you can go in here and use any color you want. You can go into color and you can choose a color for your borders. Whatever color you feel that would make you happy. A lot of times people do this when they're scrapbooking. I've seen a lot of people use this technique when they're scrapbooking. We're going to cancel that though. We're just going to go here and go to our foreground color because I want to make them white. Very, very simplistic. I'll click OK. And you can see that now those actual turn into white borders. Then all we'll do is do a Command or Control D to deselect everything. And there you go. You have your vertical panes. Very, very easy. You got the bigger one. The kind of medium sized one and a smaller one. So it cuts it up nicely and it gives it a really, really pleasing look. All right. The next one I want to show you here is the horizontal panes. And we could do it the exact same way. It doesn't take a whole lot of effort to change the way of doing things just because we're making them horizontal instead of vertical. Again, do a Command or Control A that will select all because we want to select everything to start with. We are now going to use our, you're right, our rectangular marquee tool. So we have that tool selected. We once again want to subtract, so that is still selected. 
And now we will just go here and we'll make our panes, however you want to make those, whatever looks pleasing to you. We can come down here just a little bit right about there. And we'll select here and come down to about right here. And as you see, there's no right or wrong way to do this. And if you get stuck, all you got to do is do a control or command D, right? D select everything and start over. Very easy. And right about there. Again, go to edit. And we're going to go to fill selection. And we're still filling selection with the foreground color, the white. So we're going to do that. And simply click OK. And again, I filled my selections. I do a command or control D to deselect. And there is our beautiful picture once again, uh, ready for framing. You could save that out as a JPEG image. And you're ready to get it sent out to be developed and framed. The last image here, I'm going to show you how I did my multiple uh, different selection sizes. And again, you can do this any way you want. It's very pleasing, however it looks, and you know, use your imagination. Once again, we are going to do a Command or Control A, and we're going to select everything. And then I'm going to just start the top here, and I'm just going to start making my rectangular sizes. So we'll start here, maybe a little longer. And the idea is when you're done is to have these almost interconnected boxes everywhere on your screen. Put this one over there. We're going to take this one here. We're going to drop it down here. Maybe a little longer. Yeah, we'll get even a little longer on that one. Maybe here you might want to go to the end. And right about there. Again, I like doing it this way because we have the focal point. So we can see where these lines are actually coming and lining up. And I'm going to show you another way here. You can do this. Uh, we'll take this one to the end. And then we will take this one here to the bottom. Right like that. Once again, then all we got to do then is go back to edit. And we're going to go to fill selection. And we're going to go click for foreground color. Command or control D will deselect everything. And there we go. There's our beautiful picture right there. It's very, very easy to do. Now, another way, if you really want to try to line up your lines and try to get everything uh, set to certain specifications, it's very easy to do. Let me show you that. So let me go ahead back to this image. We're going to revert it. And I'm going to go to View, and I'm going to go to Grid. So I'm going to lay a grid on top of that picture. Now let's go to Command or Control A. Again, we're going to select everything. Now let's start drawing our rectangles. We can start here, and now you can see you have a really multiple, multiple focus points to draw these uh, here. And we can go here. We know that we're leaving one block in between all of them, so we have everything, you know, kind of laid out uh, to a specification of being uh, symmetrical, I guess. There. And again, up here, we want it one block away from everything else and one block away from the edges. And we can line it up right there because you have a lot of visual uh, aids here now. See, so we got one block away. And go down to here. One block on the end. And then we'll do the same thing here. Go down one block. And one block on the bottom. Right about there. All right. Once you do that, again, all you got to do is do edit, and you're going to fill your selection, and you can fill it with any color. Let's just take this one. Um, maybe you're going to fill it with your background color, right? Let's fill it with black. And then we'll do a Control or a Command D and deselect everything. Then we can go back to View. We can shut our grid off. And there is our beautiful picture with a black panes instead of the white panes. Well, folks, I hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial. It's very straightforward. It's very easy to do. You're going to create some very pleasing images. Uh, do some something a little different with your pictures. You know, editing is, to me, the eye of the beholder because you're creating something. Uh, use your imagination. That's what Photoshop and Photoshop Elements is for, is to use your own imagination and build this stuff on your own to make some beautiful, beautiful pictures. If you enjoyed this video tutorial, please check out my website, Tech corner.com and you'll find some uh, Photoshop Elements training DVDs. You could pick one of those up 
and I'm sure you'll be happy that you did. A lot of people before you have, as well as I'm sure many, many people after you will do. Uh, and even the latest one on here says Photoshop Elements 10, but people, those folks, those videos will work for all of these Photoshop Elements uh, different versions, and you'll be just fine. If nothing else, please click on the subscribe button on YouTube videos and subscribe to my YouTube videos. You can join us on our Facebook group at Jack's Tech Corner. That is the Facebook group. Come over there. There's a lot of great people in there. A lot of us are just, you know, amateur photographers that share with each other. And if you ask a question, I'm sure it's going to be answered very, very rapidly. Again, thank you so much for watching my videos. It's because of you watching these that I like to produce these and get these out there to you. So once again, as always, keep those shutters clicking, keep your editors editing, and I'll see you back here next time on Jack's Tech Corner for another Photoshop or photo video. So long for now, folks.